Remember Us, Poet the Poet. And as I mentioned earlier, we're coming to you from the Clams Casino. And what would a casino be without a little music here and there? And we have a stellar musician to present to you now, uh, Saro Leota. Yes. Uh, let's see, who does only original compositions. Yeah. Um, which is nice. No covers here. Uh, let's see, he's a global musician and uh, does all kinds of styles. Uh, salsa, samba, blues, whatever you want. And um, has a couple of uh, records out. Goa, which is yeah. a uh, single. Uh, La Teza. La Teza, La the Teza. waiting, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, my favorite, La, La Oh, La good. seduzione, the seduction. I get so excited I can't pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's how it goes. You've done a few TV productions. Yes, um, yes. Providing music, TV, a film, portraits on age. And, uh, Portrait of age, uh, yes. Ah, and uh, La Pionera del Silenzio. La Pioniera del Silenzio, the pioneer of the silence. This is what I get for not rehearsing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, okay, why don't we just get right into a musical piece then? Yes. And I'll quiet down. <laughs> this is called the Goa. When you compose a piece, there is there is some 
composers who will try and just go for a mood built on the sounds. And there are some composers who will, or are trying to describe an image uh, using the musical tones. And uh, I was wondering, do you find yourself uh, shooting more for the mood, or are, there, are you actually telling a story? Definitely story, With, with yes. the music. Uh, what is, <clears throat> what is the story behind Goa? Oh, in this case, it's just a sunset. Ah. That is uh, the, the sunset that I was facing when I composed this uh, music, and it came uh, just, uh, it flew, mm -hmm. actually, and, uh, and it, is, it is one of these compositions which comes in five minutes, exactly as you heard it. Uh -huh. I never touched it since it came uh, complete. Sometimes it takes me two years to complete one, but this in particular came like it was already there. Ah, you didn't have to tell me that because it sounds like there was two years worth of work in that. No. Anybody who can get two years worth of work into five minutes worth of composing is, yeah. is okay. Um, I noticed, this fascinated me, that there were times when you were, for a couple of seconds, you were playing the guitar with only one hand. Yes, I... Um... I, was, I was fascinated by that because it, uh, you know, I'm not, we're not used to seeing the open strings. Yes, all, yes. all the strings open at the same time. I, I am a traveler. I've been uh, yeah. an obsessed traveler. I've been mm -hmm. almost all over the world. I've been in Sofia, for instance, really? in Bulgaria, yeah. and in other mm -hmm. places. And, um, and what I try is to mix not only the styles, but I try also to mix the techniques. Mm -hmm. This particular uh, tuning is uh, the so-called open tuning, which is uh, widely used in the American uh, uh, blues, traditional uh, uh, blues, Delta Mississippi blues. Mm -hmm. It's a tuning which allows you to play uh, uh, the slide guitar. You know, ah, the, yeah. the, and instead, I try to use it uh, for a different style of music to mm -hmm. get new sound, mm -hmm. especially my, my goal is to use the guitar as it was a voice, as a melodical instrument, mm -hmm. not as an harmonic instrument. As a matter ah. of fact, my harmonies are very simple. I keep them simple mm -hmm. because I want the emotion of the voice yeah. to come out. Okay, let's uh, go for another piece then, and you can yes. you can demonstrate the theory. Yes, in this particular case, always on the same tuning. Um, this is a, a little song which talks about a girl. Her name is Legenda, uh -huh. and uh, she's uh, British, she's, she's blonde and cute, mm -hmm. and very much within herself. Hi. And I met this girl, and I had a kind of uh, a very in, a very special relationship as a, almost a father. You wouldn't happen to have her phone number, would you? Well, <laughs> I'm talking about Legenda as I knew it. Right now ah. she should be around 25. Okay. I'm talking about Legenda when she was six. <laughs> ah. Yes. <laughs> so Legenda. <laughs>
Yes, very, very sprightly indeed. Thank you. Indeed. Um, I just had this marvelous idea. We locked the two of you up in the room. Let's see, you come up with a Broadway musical. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like uh, Victor Victoria, so that I can refuse a Tony and then get all kinds of publicity for it. What do you, th what do you say, guys? I think let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Music and poetry have common origin there. Keep watching the show, and we'll let you know how, how that comes out. Um, let's see. How long have you been playing the guitar? Oh, a life. It's been my, my best pleasure since I was a, a teenager. And then uh, I've been working on theater and movies. But then when I was 32, as a matter of fact, I, I decided that uh, I had enough of whatever else and I had to dedicate myself to music. OK. I'd like to do something a little different. Uh, for th to end the show, I want to thank you in advance, Sara Leota and, and Vladimir Levchev, and I want to fade out with uh, with Sara's music. So, so escort us out gently. All right, let's see. I will escort you with a little rhythm, a, mm -hmm. a very unusual rhythm nowadays. I'm talking about the vals. Okay, great. <laughs> a lost art. Yes, <laughs> almost.